Hi friends, welcome back. This is the second day of Merry Mitchmas. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this series to start. I did not do it last year because I don't know why. I was probably filming and I don't know why I did it. But I'm so excited for this year because this Merry Mitchmas week is going to be super excited and fun. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Today's look is going to be this beautiful, warm, smoky, dark, orangey red eye with this beautiful lip and it's very glowy, very warm, very smoky and I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I tried to do different looks um, for the occasions and I think this look is really really good and I, if you are new to my channel I am Mitchell and you should become a part of our family because hello it is free. Who don't like free? And it's absolutely fun. Subscribe and if you are enjoying this video and this series, then like this video as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start with priming our eyelids. I'm taking Too Faced Shadow Insurance and it's our uh, base. And I'm taking this soft ochre color here and I'm using that to set all of our eyeshadow primer just because it's going to be easier when applying the rest of our eyeshadows and it's going to be easier to blend. And I'm going to set that all over the brow. I already have tape. And I'm already going to take this orangey color from the palette. This is going to be our transition shade. And it's going to help a lot throughout the entire look. This is definitely key. Because it's going to be helping us blend our entire eyeshadow. And you can see how I'm maneuvering the eyeshadow all over the lid. And I'm taking this Sienna color right here. And I'm going to start playing that into our crease. A little bit below that um, chickadee kind of color and I'm going to start blending this all over the crease and a little bit on the lid I'm not going to make this a cut crease or anything so it's okay if you go a little bit below or on the lid and then I'm just going to take the other um, brush and I'm going to start blending these two shades together and then I'm going to be taking this deeper um, sienna color and I'm going to start adding that to the crease as well it's just going to make our uh, crease more a little bit more warmth and more red taking a darker brown, a cool tone um, color, and I'm going to start deepening up the outer corner only. And I'm going to start blending and making most of the shadow go on the outer corner and then blending it over to the lid, just so everything looks nice and precise and clean and blended. And I'm just going to be taking another darker, deeper color, and I'm going to do that again. And then I'm taking that red color on the end there, and I'm going to be taking that all over the lid where I have not put any other other shadow and you can see it just looks so beautiful and so warm I don't know why it reminds me of the Hunger Games for some reason but I love this eye look and I'm just reapplying and blending it all over my eyelid and then taking a liquid liner I'm just going to be doing my um, liner obviously and I'm going to be showing you a little bit some of my clips were a little bit messy so I have my liner done and I'm just peeling off the tape and you can see what the eyeshadow looks like by itself okay and then I already have my concealer on and we're moving on to the lower lash line so I'm taking the same crease colors I'm putting that on the lower lash line and then I'm blending everything out with the same cool tone brown and I'm going to make sure everything looks a little bit deeper and I'm taking the second shade in the palette and I'm using that as my inner corner highlight because we have to have it pop in, girl. Have it pop in. Okay? Hey guys, so I already did my foundation, concealer, powder, and my brows just to speed on through this tutorial. Ow. <laughs> just to speed on through this tutorial because I've shown you guys this always and I feel like I just it just takes some time. So, 
let's go ahead and get started with the fun stuff. So I'm going to take my favorite bronzer brush. This is the Morphe, my Morphe M527 and the MAC Mineralize and get me started. And we're just applying this like a bronzer helmet because we want to And I like this brush because, I go here brushes, because when I apply my bronzer, it applies less product, so I don't get the bronzer helmet that everyone loves. And I just feel like it looks so much cleaner, clean, cleaner, clean. I am always so a fan of my cool bronzer. bronzer. It's my favorite bronzer oh, forever, oh, and I just oh, love it, and I'm using the Real Techniques Contour Brush. If Morphe has a brush that is like this, I need to buy it because the shape of this brush is just amazing and there's nothing like it. I have the Makeup Geek Rounded Blush Brush, but I don't know, I just, I love the way this gives me contour so flawless. Before we move on with the blush, we are going to bake under our contour. Just to clean it up, and I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and Air Spun, like always. While we are baking, we are going to apply our blush. And when these types of looks, I like to use a bronzy cover blush. So I'm going to actually use my, uh, my Jaclyn Hill palette and blush. And it's a big copper color here. And look, I feel like it's matching. And then to highlight, I'm going to be mixing Champagne Pop and Pearl for my highlight. To make our to make our skin look nice away our flawless, we're just going to apply some matte for our lips. We're just going to apply Color Pop Stingray. I'm gonna add a little bit of tool to make it a little bit more reddish tone because it's a little bit more mauve. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock, jingle bell swing. 